We welcome you back to Baton Rouge. Now please be joined by Middle Tennessee. We have head coach Rick Ensel and me to my immediate left. See on the far end we have Courtney Whitson and we have Savannah Wheeler joining us. As always, coach, we'll give you the opportunity if you'd like to make a comment about the game and then we'll first address questions to the players. Please introduce yourself, your affiliation, and whether you're addressing the question to uh, Courtney or Savannah. Then we'll let them get back to the locker room and then we'll have questions for coach. So, coach, the microphone's yours. Well, I've been doing this for about 48 years. And I can remember one or two games like this. I don't know how many games I've AAU travel team. It's hard to overcome 37 free throws to nine. That's my opening statement. Okay, Coach, thank you very much. Uh, questions first for the players. Uh, we'll bring a microphone to you if you raise your hand. And again, please uh, address which player you're asking your question to. Uh, Y'all were up nine early in the in the in the third quarter. Uh, what exactly happened? Because Y'all got blitzed on a 40, 41 to twenty or forty one to twenty something run. What exactly happened? Um, we just had some mental mistakes. We knew that in games like this, we can't just let um, one mental mistake lead to another. And I think that we just c continue to let – we didn't sustain the run like we've been doing all year. Um, we knew that they were going to uh, make that push at some point. But I think once they made that push on us, we continued to make mental mistakes. And uh, the small details we didn't take care of that led to that um, large lead. Savannah, Sam Doughton, GoGoRaiders.com. Y'all had a lot of success uh, in the first half, particularly in the second quarter. What was working really well for y'all during that stretch where y'all were able to, to go on some big runs? I mean, I would say normally you kind of go back from this season. I mean, normally I feel like we have a slow start in the first quarter compared to a second half, but I guess today it kind of flipped a little bit. But um, I would say that the only thing that was really working for us was, you know, just getting downhill, trying to get downhill, try to – make them commit a foul. And, you know, I would say that in the first half, we, a few of us did hit some shots. But in the second half, you know, just kind of went downhill, kind of going off what Courtney said, just mental mistakes in the second half. Courtney, obviously, the, the foul trouble made the second half a, a big challenge for you guys. Um, was there anything y'all think y'all could have done different defensively to prevent some of those foul calls? Okay. I mean, was it? Oh, you can go. Okay. Um, no, I mean, we knew they were going to be physical. So it was just a matter of taking that into our own hands. Um, at the end of the day, just like Coach said, it's hard to overcome that deficit from the free throw line. Um, but just being smarter, uh, fouls that we can, can control. Um, yeah. I was going to say the exact same yeah. thing, pretty much physicality. Just, try, just the only thing you can do against a team like that is just match your physicality. And then for both of y'all, not the way y'all wanted to go out, but still a tremendous season, you know, as a Lady Raider for both of y'all. What has being part of a pro this program meant, um, you know, just seconds after it's over? <laughs> of course, you made me answer this. Um, I mean, this is the platform that you work for. Um, I get to represent my faith. I get to represent uh, my community. I get to represent that man. Um, and to think that this is going to be the last time I ever put on this jersey stings. Um, it's been a long journey, but I'm thankful for it. And uh, this just sets them up for next year to, to get where they want to be. Um, all the players that came before me laid the foundation. So uh, it's, been, it's been an amazing bus journey. So, Yeah, um, really just picking back what Courtney said. Um, you know, there have been a lot of highs and a lot of lows. But, you know, by golly, I'm very thankful for those highs and lows for sure. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely shaped me into who I am right now. And I've just been very fortunate and very blessed to to be here and just to play with a great group of girls and play for a great group of coaches. And, you know, hitting that portal was the best thing that's ever happened for me. And I, I don't regret any of that. There are no other questions. Uh, Savannah and Courtney, congratulations on your season. Congratulations on the way you represented the university. And we really appreciate your time Thank coming you. in. Thank you. All right, we'll open up the floor now for coaches, uh, for questions for Coach. If you raise your hand, we'll bring a microphone to you. Uh, 
Bryce Kuhn, 24-7 Sports. Coach, obviously emotional uh, moment right there. Can you just talk about what this group has meant to you this year? Obviously, you've coached a long time, but what, what's made this group special? I think you'd have to be in, live in our community to know that. Um, you know, down here, the three or four days that you've been here, you wouldn't know that. Maybe you would know it if you see seen some of those people that flew in on their planes and drove. And um, this group is so invested in our community, invested into our university, and then the university and our communities invested in them. Uh, it's just something special to see. You'd have to be there to witness it. And then, uh, you know, we're, we didn't have, uh, I don't know, whatever they had today, 12, 15,000 fans there. But uh, – our fans are as, as radical as anybody's out there, as loud as anybody's out there, and you know. So I'm those kids right there, they'll be missed. You know, Courtney's been with me five years and Savannah now two years. You know, it'd be tough coming in and in the mornings. I don't know that I ever came in in the morning, I didn't see Savannah out there working. And I don't know that somewhere during the day I didn't run through the gym, I didn't see Courtney working. So they were two very, very special young ladies. Coach, there was a 31 to 16 foul discrepancy. They shot 37 free throws. You all only shot nine. Can you, can you like? You want up? me to get fined? Yeah. <laughs> no. Is that what you're searching for? <laughs> no, sir. But uh, what is that? You got you had three final four officials there. Uh, you know, there was. I've, I've had that two or three times in my career. Maybe one time in college, uh, maybe one time in travel team ball. Very seldom do you see that, you know. Um, I don't know that we. I don't know that we've had maybe one player foul out this year. We had three players. Not tonight. I'm talking about one player before we got to this game. Three times. So you know that kind of answer. How many do we have tonight? Three, so, you know. But, you know, the, uh, there were some bright spots for me. I thought Jada Granham come in and did a great job for us. Um, I thought Tamia did a good job, you know. She's taking the ball the hole. She hit some threes, missed two free throws early. And, you know, we've just been riding Jalen Gregory's back and, and Savannah's back and Courtney's back and uh, Nas is back all year long. So, you know. It, it's going to be tough playing, but, uh, you know, did anybody eat us out there tonight? We'll be back. we got a good group coming around, and we got some good recruits. Uh, we'll be back. Coach, in an atmosphere like this, the, the suddenness of a loss uh, is kind of hard to put into words. What was your message to the team immediately uh, after the game? I'm just proud of them, very proud. Don't let this define you. Don't let it define this year, define this uh, this team. Um, you know, I was really not concerned about the atmosphere bothering our players. And I think you saw that early on. I mean, you know, they were loud early on, but after they, you know, we met, we were up eight, missed a three. And, you know, and that's just something that happens. And then Angel fell down. She wasn't running the floor. It wasn't like she was sprinting the floor. She was laying down there. And then, they were able to throw over the top. She got an easy layup, and then I think they hit a three after that, and then they were rolling. They're a very talented basketball team. We know, we knew coming in they were very talented. We knew that if they decided to play, it was going to be tough for us to win. Now, if they decide to play the rest of the year like they did the second half, they're going to be tough. I've watched them play a lot. I've watched a lot of film on them. That second half was about as good as I've seen them play this year, to be honest with you. So if they decide to do that, you know, they're going to have another chance to hang another flag up. They got good players. They got good coaching staff. Um, you know, they got what it takes. But you got to have a little luck. You got to stay healthy to win, win a national championship. Coach, you touched on this a little bit earlier, but you do have a lot of players that have made the core of this team coming back next year. What excites you about where this program's headed and what you all have accomplished this year? Well, I think. I think our pro I've said this all along the last 10 years, maybe 15 years, uh, our program was one of the top 30 programs in the country. No we fans or buts about it. We're there every year. Now we lack getting votes to be voted into the top 10 or top 15. 
And part of that is a fact that you look at the, the committee that you've got voting on this, most of those guys are on the Power Five teams. So they're going to take care of themselves. I mean, it's, it's not a secret. And the same thing holds true. I think you just saw what was going on with Greg Sankey. He's wanting to take the automatic qualifiers and throw them to the side. I mean, where did that come from? So, you know, my president's on the, the executive committee for the NCAA. So I guess they'll probably address that part if they hadn't already. But, uh, you know, we got a pretty good game here. You know, you look at what's happened in men's basketball and women's basketball, you got some of those automatic qualifiers are putting some of those teams out that really probably shouldn't even been in the NCAA tournament, to be honest with you. Any other questions for Coach? We're good. Hey, I appreciate you, and thank you all very much, and good luck. Coach, congratulations to you on your season. Thank you. Thanks for thank your time. You. We appreciate it. Thank you. And that'll wrap things up from here in the Baton Rouge Regional. Once again, LSU advances. They go to play the winner of UCLA and Creighton next week. We thank you for your time, and have a good weekend, everybody.